Hey, what's going on, Soldier? Welcome back to yet another Life in Bronze Brackets. Bronze Spectres. Today we got another bronze game for you. Instead of picking on EU Northeast like we have done for the last God knows how many videos, we're playing on EU West today, pretty deep in the depths of bronze. I think between bronze 3 and bronze 5 is where we're heading up today. There was, however, an EU Northeast game that I really wanted to share with you guys. It was so beautiful, but unfortunately, the recordings kind of didn't survive. Uh, I got the chat and stuff, but I couldn't get the actual, re the actual replay file that I wanted to get so that I could do a video on it. I can show you some of the uh, the chat walks from the game though. As well as that, the misfortune in that game as well had probably one of the most interesting rune pages that I've ever seen in League of Legends history. Let me just read out the, the rune page that this person has. So in her first rune page, Misfortune, the person who played Misfortune by the way, the runes were plus 0.6 ability power, plus 1.6 physical lethality, plus 11.2 physical damage at level 18, plus 17 ability power at level 18, plus 1.2 physical damage, plus 3.7 attack speed, plus 2.1 magic resist, plus 1.3 magic resist at level 18, plus 48 health at level 18, plus 0.8 crit damage, plus 21 mana at level 18, plus 9.8 armor at level 18, plus 8 health, plus 1.7 cooldown at level 18, and plus 0.6 magic pen. There's no other room pages by the way, that's the only room page. The, the Misfortune has one other room page, but it's empty. It's completely empty. Of course. Like, people know that runes are on sale, right? Like, it doesn't, it costs 10 IP per rune. You guys know this, right? Just one final piece of really motivational advice, guys. This Misfortune is Bronze 5 50 LP with 2000 games this season. If you think you're hard stuck, if you think you're finding it hard to climb, if you think you're struggling to get out of the ill you're in, at least you're not this hard stuck. Anyway guys, we're going back into this game. We're going back into the meat of this game. So, as far as picks go, nothing particularly crazy, apart from the fact that there is an Alawi mid, and she is already trying to all-win this Twisted Fate at 45 seconds into the game. We do have the enemy jungler here, and Garen is in the bush nearby. The gold card gets dropped, Alawi's in kind of a crappy place right now. We might end up seeing a flash here or something, Garen's coming in on this, pulls the, the red card, barriers for absolutely no reason whatsoever, drops the Q, does a decent amount of damage to Twisted Fate is there as well there. What, why is there's literally eight people sitting mid right now? There's literally eight, nine people mid. Nine people mid at level one. Okay, right, well, come, mm. By the way guys, if you do want to send your replays to me, I am desperate for good bronze replays. Send them to this email up here make sure you describe the game give me some information on the game because if you just say here's a bronze spectate here's a replay file with a bunch of numbers i am probably not gonna take notice of it give me a good description sell it to me so that i can feature these videos feature these replays in these videos all right so surprisingly alawi has twisted fate pretty well in the mid lane i do foresee her screwing this up in one way or another And it is with that kill that Alawi is no longer top anymore. Listen guys, you may have seen a Singe proxy. You may even have seen a Tryndamere proxy. But have you ever seen the immense level 5 Alawi proxy in the lane that she's not even part of? What the fuck is doing? Oh. It is 6 minutes into this game. Kane has 31 CS. He's doing pretty decent. He's level 5. He's even got a kill and an assist. I mean, it's off Alawi, so it's not really anything to write home about. Gragas, on the other hand, has not died. He has not been part of any kills whatsoever in the entire map, and he has got 4 CS. This may be a problem. Speaking of problems... What's funny is that despite this, despite the fact that Alawi has died three times already in the space of seven minutes, it is, um, 
It wouldn't be out of the realms of possibility to say that she has spent most of her time out of lane rather than being actually up at the minions. Probably at least half the game has been spent fucking around in top lane, fucking around in, the, in the, this part of the map or in the base. Yet somehow she still has, or she at least had when she died, the highest CS on her team. Does that say a lot about her? Does that say a lot about her team? Or does it just say a lot about bronze people in general? あきらめんなよ。諦めんなよ、you know, Medley's been such a shit show that I didn't even consider the fact that there were actually other lanes in this game. There has been nothing but Alawi dying for the last 10 minutes straight, and it is difficult to even consider the fact that there is a bot lane, or there is a top lane. But I have to commend her on her bravery. She's 0-5, but I guarantee she's not going to let that hold her back. Oh wait, Alawi's coming down. We may actually see something interesting happen here. Right. Does she have ulti? She does. She does. Not that it mattered. Well, you know what they say, guys. Get knocked down six times. Get up seven. Probably get reported for int feeding your games. She got killed. That was very undoubtedly worth. She is worth gold again, though. Which may not be so worth. She's out farming the, the Twisted Fate. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's got a little bit more money, but that's kind of embarrassing. Honestly, Alawi might just be the 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 soul, the the protector that Bronze Five Solo Q needs. There's gotta be people like this in Bronze Solo Q, because without it, what would it be? If Bronze Solo Q was filled with good players, well, that would just be no fucking fun at all, would it? This person, this Alawi, is the fucking uh, the essence of this series. She. The essence, everything this series is about, this person encapsulates. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. If I could shake this person's hand, because their plays are just so fucking good. I would, I would shake that hand. One in eight. Fourteen minutes. <laughs> but the thing that's incredible about it all, is the fact that this person... Doesn't like the fact that she's died almost one every, once every two minutes. It doesn't doesn't let it get her down. They don't let it get her down, and it's a beautiful thing. That was a really nice bullet time. Didn't hold on for as long as we thought it would. I think Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate is just picking on this Alawi at this point. She actually manages to survive. So, funnily enough, God knows how. She's going back. Never mind. She's going back in. She's not gonna get caught by anything. No, she somehow managed to survive. Garen drops the on Sona, doesn't manage to pick anything up. Okay, Alawi has officially gone back in. She was just like, hold my beer. I'm going in, boys. Kane is behind enemy lines right now, though. He might be in a little bit of trouble. Gragas using the body slam there, getting the stun down onto the Kane. The ulti there from Gragas, not really pulling too much out of the bag there. Almost got Twisted Fate under tower, but at the end of the day, he had barrier. And uh, he's, he's a little bit, he's a little bit strong compared to everybody else. He is. I mean, he's only got a level on them, but still probably going to be enough. I'm very interested to see how many times Alawi thinks that she can die within a game. We're at nine. Gragas has zero deaths. Caitlyn has zero deaths. I feel like this is one of my games. I feel like I'm the Caitlyn right now, and maybe this is my entire team. Alawi feels like my entire team, pretty much. That's, that's pretty much how I feel. Not bronze. And by that, I don't mean bronze. I don't mean literally bronze. I, 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 I mean, I, I, you get what I mean. I don't, just shut, shut. Right, finally, Big Daddy Swain is actually entering the fray. He hasn't been, really, he hasn't actually left bot lane at all this game. He's been top the entire time. Hold on one minute. I think, I think I need that in slow motion. I think I need that Greg Assaulty, not only in slow motion, but also in a fancy cinematic camera angle. Ah yes. This is much better. I can now get this from every conceivable angle that I could ever want to get it in. And we can enjoy this Greg Assaulty in all its stupendous glory. Oh! 
it's actually around this time that I do reveal that I am I'm joining FaZe as an editor. Because as you can see, my camera angle skills are fucking off the chain at this point. Beautiful. Hits zero people. Completely useless. <laughs> Fantastic. I dig it. I, I, I very much, I very much dig that. See, so yeah, immediately after missing that OE, Gregor says, absolutely no way of dealing with anybody. He dies. And the Brainiacs over on blue side, despite the fact they just lost their jungler, they just lost basically one of their big tanks, because uh, Elali sure as shit. She's trying, but she sure as shit isn't tanking anything. I mean, she's got a Talisman of Ascension, which is fine. That's fine. I'm not really sure what it's doing for her, though. But she's doing something, all right. They decide to fight anyway. That's going to be some free, easy pickups. Elali gets picked up. Tarek gets picked up. That's base These guys are basically getting taken for her right here. I feel so bad for Caitlyn. She is 0, zero 2 What do you do in that scenario when you've got a 110-0 mid laner? Who built a fucking talisman of ascension and is playing a lawi what the hell do you do it has been like three minutes since the lawi died which may or may not be a new record for this game so far i'm not sure what the last time she died was it was during that last fight uh, this will always be cut to this point from the last lawi death it may seem like only moments for you but it has felt like hours for me but yeah it's been almost a new record for how long she has spent alive but she's pretty eager to make sure that that is the highest bar that she's going to set this entire game. That was a really nice never move. And that was a really nice make it, uh, bullet time there from uh, from Misfortune and from Swain there. Holy moly. And in the meantime, of course, Kane picks up a kill there as well. Onto the Tarek. Wait, was it onto Tarek? No, I'm wrong. Somebody died. Oh no, they got Dragon. That's exactly what it was. They got Dragon. Per Caitlyn, man. Per Caitlyn. I feel nothing... But sympathy for this Caitlyn, dude. That is, <laughs> that is just, that is just telling, man. That is just so telling. I cannot even fathom how telling that must be. I mean, they're kind of coming into this fight in a big way right now. This is actually a really, really decent fight for them. I mean, half of the team didn't even get hit with Tarek Sully. But this is actually pulling through to be a good thing. We got some picks here and there. Alawi actually picked up another kill onto the Twisted Fate. The Tarek stun was really decent going down on Misfortune. The Q coming out, E coming out from Garen. She is not dead yet, but there's a good chance she will die if Garen can keep this going. He's getting slowed by Beatrice from the Swain as well. The never move does drop though. He's gonna be able to save. Actually, no, she just stops. What I mean, I mean Swain saved you. You should probably get the fuck out. Sona's gonna die. Caitlyn picks up a kill. A couple more assists across the board for Blue Side there as well. This. Oh, he's got no mana. He's got no mana. He's not gonna be able to do shit here. Okay. Blue side want to trade. Blue side want to trade. So after that, morale is actually probably not too bad. Alawi has stopped her feeding to an extent. She's 2 and 11. But she's still got more CS in Twisted Fate though. Better player. Better mid wins. And that's, that's what they say. Better mid wins. Where is Twisted Fate going? He is evacuating the premises as quickly as possible. Despite that, his team have actually just decided to go in. Twisted Fate is like, oh shit, actually, you know what? I should probably go in on this as well. Whole oh, fuck. Tarakoi gets dropped. Really good Tarakoi lands onto four members of the team there. Still, Bulletin drops as well. Gonna be really decent, shredding the hell out of that Tarak who is building a Frozen Gauntlet instead of anything else. Garen gets dropped as well. That's probably gonna be another pickup here. He's gonna try and body slam over the wall. They do predict it though. Flate and Skrit Fane. Kane flashes the wall. Knocks the Gragas up. Ulti's he's on him as well. Not really any point in that, but he did it anyway. And Alawi is gonna be, ironically, and I, really ironically, the last man standing in this team. This could be a really big push. They've got like a good 30 seconds before anybody tanky is up who's gonna be able to do anything. Alawi's got a Sterix Gauge and a Talisman of Ascension. I do not follow the logic at all. Despite this, despite all this, they're trying to fight back. Caitlyn does absolutely no damage. All she's got is an Essence Reaver and a Runan's Hurricane, but she is trying, and that is really all that matters. She's going a little bit too close to that swing, though. She's going to end up getting hit with the crows off. Zoe, oh, they are going in as quickly as possible. Garen ain't that fast, though. Maybe the Talisman of Ascension would help. She did use it, but it didn't really get them tremendously closer to the enemies there. Almost like it's not the best item to be picking on a Lally fucking mid. Gragas going in on that game though. He is actually really, really tanky. I mean, he's got himself like an abyssal mask. Um, which is a decent idea, I guess, for like swaying and stuff. 
definitely. They got a lot of uh, magic damage there, off of even off of like Misfortune and off of Sona. There's a lot of magic damage coming off of that. That is a sick never move. That is a sick bullet time as well. Not able to pick anybody up here. The OA from Tarek saving that fucking Caitlyn's life, dude. That Caitlyn was going to die off of that Q. But nevertheless, Tarek still dies anyway. Takes one for the team there. Getting dropped by the TF Wild Cards. Gold card going down. Dropping the fucking bomb on that Alawi. She leaps the Fates in. Does a bunch of damage to Twisted Fate. He's not going to be able to survive by just doing the Leap of Faith. Or there wasn't really that many enemies there to slap around. And uh, yeah, she kind of ran out of team there. The Destiny coming down from the Twisted Fate. Missing the wild cards like a motherfucking boss. Kane missing the knockup as well. Gragas might actually manage to live this one here. Unless he body slams into minions. Which he doesn't do. But he does get knocked up by Kane by going too close to the wall. Body slams into the Swain. Gets fucking power corded by the fucking Sona. Getting picked up there. I actually even said it before she did it because I, I never, I haven't actually watched that part before. I'm just that damn good. LCS, my fucking emails are open if you want a caster. You ain't gonna find much shit better than this. Tarek's dead, by the way. Good commentary. So if that last push wasn't the final push, and this last one probably will be. 14 seconds until Gragas is up. Garen's already up as well. Tarek's dead. He ain't gonna have all eight really ready for this. I mean, he'll have it by the time he's up, but there's a long time till he gets up anyway. Kane coming down. He has got Ulti back up now. He is Ulti onto the uh, Alawi. Might be not the best idea. She's uh, kind of deceptively tanky, I guess. She does die immediately, but she's deceptively tanky. You'd think for a, a 2 and 13 that she would be squishier, but she ain't. But she still is quite squishy. Anyway, that's going to be the game. Guys, that was a pretty fucking action-packed game. It's got to be said. That was an action-packed game. There was a lot that happened in that game. What the fuck? Okay, he's ulting Swain for whatever reason. I say, I'm, I'm, I'm already acting like this game is finished. I don't even know. I think, I think man, did they do it? Did they win? They better do. Yeah, I think that may be the win. If they're not good enough to finish it, then the minions certainly are. Anyway, guys, that was a, that was a pretty decent bronze spectates. As I say, email me anything you got. I'd love to commentate over it, and hopefully you'd love to watch it as well. Um, if you're in bronze, anything like that, or if you've got friends that are bronze, steal the replays, spectate their games, steal the replays, send me them. As well as that, any boosters you got or anything like that, fire over to me. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to slap it with a like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, join the sock drawer by slapping, <gasps> by slapping that subscribe button down below as well. I've got hiccups, and I'm going to go drink water now. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.